Hey, it's Blake here, and as someone who's ran his own business for more than a decade, almost two decades now, since before I was in college, uh, I've gone through millions of dollars of revenue. I've run everything from subscription box businesses to bulk book businesses to marketing businesses and pretty much everything in between. Uh, and doing that, I've had the chance to talk to a lot of different people, seen a lot of different people in different cycles of their business, and as a result, seen a lot of failures. There really is trends amongst the failures. Uh, and the one thing that I really want to make you aware of so you can nip this in the bud uh, is probably something that's been in the back of your head for quite a long time, but you're ignoring it because no one else really talks about it. I'm here to say, you're right. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Uh, and the problem is there's too many copycats out there. And I want to be very clear. I don't mean copycats in the sense of people who look at a successful business model and then do that same thing like, oh, there's a lot of people who cut lawns. I'll do that too. No, I'm talking about someone who tries to exactly imitate someone else's processes and systems in their own life. Here's the problem with that. You're not that person. Uh, you're not going to do whatever they can do. You might not have the same advantages. You might have different weaknesses. You might be at a different starting point in your life. You might not have the time to devote to it. What really makes a lot more sense than trying to copy someone else's exact business model is glean what you can from that, but then develop systems that um, cater to your strengths. What are you good at? What can you do over and over again to produce a profit? Not necessarily find a one-size-fits-all package that's going to guarantee you profit because as someone who's <laughs> run a lot of businesses, there's no such thing as guaranteed profit. It just doesn't exist. There's an inherent risk with everything. And if you're risking things in ways that you're bad at, you're going to lose money. The second thing kind of is also like being a copycat and it's trying to match people's successes. This is an issue with social media in general where we're going to see certain people's big wins. Uh, like if you do resale, for example, you might see someone who sells a $10,000 t-shirt and you don't know that they paid $9,980 for it. That's an example. I'm not saying it happens, but I'm just letting you know that by being kind of enamored with these big wins, maybe they opened up a new warehouse, maybe they brought on new employees, maybe they're doing all sorts of things that you want to do, you're going to chase those big successes that they have uh, as opposed to developing systems and processes that allow you to have your own successes. Again, it's this kind of idea where you can buy a one-size-fits-all package, follow steps one, two, and three, and then all of a sudden you're exactly where you want to be. That's not the way it is. Uh, the true path of every successful business I've ever seen is going to be you start off somewhere in the bottom, you struggle for a while, you have a success, then you fail, then you have more successes. Uh, and it's not a, a chart of linear growth. It's very sporadic with ups and downs, peaks and valleys. Uh, and if you get caught up only following people's peaks, then besides like the mental turmoil it's going to cause you, uh, it's going to create this desire in yourself to pursue things that are not in your best long-term interest. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe because what I'm working on is a one-on-one -on -one mentorship system, a consulting system. I'm not sure what I'll call it yet, but it's going to be taking the strategies that I've seen successful million-dollar businesses run and then implement them into your own life based on your own skills, based on the amount of time you can devote to this. If you like that, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.